Galaxy S9 is already out and you're still hanging out with your Galaxy S7 Edge. <laughs> oh my god. Hey guys, my name is Saf and in today's video I'll be showing you the how can you upgrade your Galaxy S7 Edge to Galaxy S9 uh, or who knows, Galaxy Note 9. And guys, a big thanks to our sponsors NordVPN for sponsoring this video. Watch this video till the end to learn more about that. So guys, the ROM we are checking out today for Galaxy S7 Edge is called Black Pearl ROM and uh, this ROM actually comes with Android Oreo on board. Now if I get inside of a board device and sort for information, uh, here you can see it says that the Android version is 8.0.0. Now guys, talking about the launcher, well it has been ported from the Galaxy S9's ROM and it is pretty much similar uh, to the launch that we have in the official uh, Oreo ROM for Galaxy S7 Edge. But there is an addition to this launcher which actually makes it very more special and that is uh, you you can rotate this launcher in the landscape mode so to enable that all you have to do is to just uh, long press on the home screen and then tap on home screen settings scroll down and here uh, you will find uh, this feature which is called portrait mode only so go ahead and disable that now if I go back and try to rotate my phone like that <laughs> you can see that I get this amazing look uh, so yeah go ahead and try this I hope you will really really like it all right guys now what I want to show you is actually uh, one of the best features of this ROM and that is the Bixby feature. Now guys, if I scroll towards left, I get inside of Bixby home and yes, this is not configured at all because this is not where I want to get into for this video. What I want to show you is actually a section of Bixby which is called Bixby Vision. Now guys, through this feature, uh, you can do a whole lot of things. Let's say you just come across a product that uh, you want to buy online but you do not know its name. So through this application, you can scan that product and buy that online. Uh, you can also do live translations uh, through this application. So I think I shouldn't talk much but show you this uh, feature in action. So guys by opening up the app on the bottom you will get some mods here. So here you can search for the QR code. Uh, you can search the food you're looking for. Uh, you have the tab for places. You also have the tab for image uh, where you can search the product uh, which you are into and you also have the tab for text where you can do live translation. So I'm gonna quickly move to the uh, image tab. Now here guys uh, let me just quickly uh, grab my glue stick all right there comes my glue stick so this is what I will be searching online so oh, whoops so let me just uh, move the camera over to this glue stick all right let's see what kind of search results do we get out of here all right all right so there we go so these are the search results of which we have gotten uh, so far. Well, I guess I'm not getting the same glue stick. Well, I believe this is because it is not available online. But anyhow, uh, we are still getting some, you know, relevant search results here. So uh, this is how it actually works. All right. So let's just uh, move to the text tab now. So here, guys, uh, you can choose the language into which you want the translation. Uh, I'm actually going with uh, Arabic. All right. So after selecting the language, uh, just go ahead and uh, you know move the camera over to the text you want to have translated. All right. So I'm gonna go with uh, glue stick. All right. Let's see how does it actually translate it. All right. We have finally gotten some translation here. Uh, it says Ravakovi. I guess this is how you pronounce that. But anyhow. Uh, this is how uh, this feature actually you know goes so I hope you guys will really enjoy taking a look at this feature so yeah do give me your feedback uh, about this feature in the comments below alright guys now let's take a look at the wallpapers that we have with this from so I'm gonna quickly get inside uh, of the wallpaper section here alright so here are all the infinity wallpapers that we have from the Galaxy S9 and Galaxy Note 9 so I'm gonna choose one of these wallpapers here alright so I'm going with this pink wallpaper all right, so let me just quickly set this one as wallpaper. Now, if I lock my phone on the lock screen, you can see we have a very beautiful animation going on. All right, let me just do that once again. All right, there we go. Even while unlocking uh, the phone, the animation keeps going. So yeah, pretty good stuff to check. All right, guys, now I would like to talk about an app that has gotten a very beautiful revamp, and that is the Messages app. Now, as you can see uh, here, we have a brand new icon for it, and inside of it, you will find this app and valid by the blue color now we also have a brand new keyboard uh, with this one that is to be shown to you guys so let me just quickly uh, made that keyboard pop up so uh, here is the keyboard that I know looks absolutely stunning and on top of the numeric keyboard 
we have a new layer going on where we have different shortcuts so first of all we have the emoji tab uh, next up uh, to it we have the brand new stickers tab where you will find uh, different creatures outside of this universe and next up we have the gif tab now guys uh, I'm I'm a kind of a person who uses a lot of gifs so uh, if you're like me uh, it's gonna help you guys a lot so after that we have the microphone and then we have the settings and you can also rearrange uh, these shortcuts by tapping on this down arrow and then dragging uh, the shortcuts according to your desired location. Alright guys, now talking about the camera application, well unfortunately we don't get the Galaxy S9 camera app with this form because that was really hard for the developers to port. But the good news here is that we do have the Galaxy S8 camera app uh, which in my opinion is as good as the Galaxy S9's camera app. Uh, Alright, now let me just quickly launch the app. So here is the app itself which looks absolutely clean. Now guys, there is a feature that have grown over me a lot and that is the zoom feature of this camera app. You can actually control the zoom by sliding the camera shutter up or down really easily. Alright guys, now I would like to talk about a feature that actually lets you have the full view of the camera app. So to enable that, you just have to tap this icon and that will enable the full view. So pretty cool thing here. You guys, on the bottom, you have the Bixby vision on the left side. So uh, if I go ahead and tap on that, it will actually take me to the app itself. You guys, since I have already reviewed this app, I'm not going to talk about that. So let's just go back. And on the right side, you have the stickers tab. So tapping that will take you to the stickers menu. And now here you have a lot of stickers to choose. So I'm going to go with the good job sticker here. So you can move the sticker and at the same time you can also resize that. So pretty good stuff here. Now I actually think Samsung has added a lot of features in their camera application which is going to restrict a lot of people uh, from using third party camera applications for editing their pictures. Alright guys, now it's time to shed some light over the NordVPN application. Well having this application gives you a fast, uh, private and a very secure internet connection. Well you can unlock almost any website out there that is blocked inside of your country well if you're living in Middle East I know there are a lot of social media uh, services that are blocked there like whatsapp calling doesn't work uh, Viber doesn't work Facebook partially works so having this application uh, enables you to overcome all those uh, limitations and enjoy those uh, applications with uh, their full functionality very easily so guys, by opening up the application, you will find this map over here that's gonna show you the servers. Now guys, you can also access these servers by tapping on the list tab here. Now here guys, you will find all the countries and servers to which you can connect. And up top, you have uh, the specialty servers. Now here you will find some more options like anti-DDoS and that's gonna actually save you from getting uh, DDoS or in other words, you will not be hacked. And next up, you have the onion over VPN option and that's gonna add another layer of privacy over your internet connection. Now guys, the good thing about NordVPN application is that it also comes with kill switch feature. Uh, that means uh, it will automatically get disconnected from uh, the internet if the connection from the server is lost. And guys, you can learn more about all such stuff uh, by clicking the link in the description of this video. And guys, this app also gets all the green check boxes from PC Mag, so it is a very uh, trusted application. And guys, I'm gonna uh, pin the picture here that's gonna actually show you all the features of this application. So if you wanna know more about that, uh, just go ahead and read them. And guys, this app is absolutely free to download and you will also get a 7 day free trial by having this application. Now guys, after that, you'll have to subscribe to any of these plans here. So uh, the 6 month plan, for example, is gonna cost you almost $7. And guys, there is also a money back guarantee with this application. So if you do not like the service, uh, you can actually have your money back within 30 days of your purchase. Alright guys, now coming back towards this from, well, uh, I think I have pretty much covered all the essential topics which were to be covered and uh, I'm not going to talk about the features like the always on display and the edge panel because these are pretty much the same. And guys, talking about the battery timing, well, it's pretty much similar to the Sock Room's battery life which is a good thing and uh, you guys should give this ROM a try because you guys are gonna absolutely enjoy having this ROM on your Galaxy S7 Edge. And now I will go ahead and show you the, how you can actually install this ROM on your Galaxy S7 Edge. By the way guys, I forgot to mention that if you need root access on your Galaxy device, go ahead and click this annotation right here and that's gonna take you to that video. Anyhow, in order to install this ROM on your Galaxy device, uh, you need to have a custom recovery installed on your Galaxy S7 Edge. And the required one for this process is 
uh, Torb custom recovery 3.2.1.1. If you don't have the recovery, uh, don't worry, I have a link, uh, the download link of it in the description of this video. Next up, uh, you need the second file and that is the ROM itself. Uh, so yeah, go ahead in the description, download it, it from there and then save that file on your phone storage. After that, you have to boot up inside of the custom recovery. So guys, once you are inside of the custom recovery, go ahead and tap on Vibe. Now here you have to select Advanced Vibe. Uh, after that, you have to select Delver Cache System Data and Cache. After that, uh, swipe to wipe them up. Alright guys, now you have to move to the location where you actually saved your ROM file. Well, for me, it's inside of internal storage. So yeah, go ahead and select your ROM file. After that, uh, you have to swipe to confirm flash. Now guys, that's gonna take almost 5 to 10 minutes, so don't panic. Uh, give it some time and after that, uh, you will be able to root your system. Alright guys, now as you can see, the ROM has been successfully flashed and now you can go ahead and reboot your system. Now guys, the first boot, as usual, is gonna take a lot of time, maybe 10 minutes, maybe 20 minutes maybe 30 minutes so you have to be really patient here so yeah give it some time and after that uh, you will eventually find your system uh, booted up so yeah that's about it i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video if you did please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and if you have any queries do let me know in the comments below and yeah see you guys next time